Hi everyone, Hannah here. Welcome back to the channel. For anyone that's new, welcome. My name is Hannah and today's video is very Little Mermaid themed. I have a lounge fly and then some other little bits and bobs. And they're all mermaid themed, so I'm showing them all together. First one, lounge fly backpack. I kind of decided that I wanted this bag even before I saw the film. And then after seeing the film, I was just even more convinced that I wanted this backpack. So I went and got it from Forbidden Planet Wolverhampton earlier and I am obsessed. I haven't had a huge look at it because I want to kind of do all of that together. So if you can hear that jangling, it's the zip puller. Look at this backpack. We have Ariel right there on the front and she glitters. She's got like a glitter shimmer to her. So does Flounder and this flower just here. They're all kind of like appliques that are stitched on. So they're kind of on top of the bag. Hopefully, if I kind of shine it a bit, twirly twirl, hopefully that shimmer's coming up. Because she sparkles. Let me know if you've seen the film what you thought. I'm obsessed with it. There are some kind of subtle differences, differences, subtle differences to the animated film. There's also, is it, it's not really, I don't think it's really a spoiler. If you've not seen it yet. Jodie Benson, who voices the original Ariel in the animated film, she has a cameo in there, and it's an amazing cameo. So let me know if you noticed. And if you don't know who Jodie Benson is, Google it if you haven't seen it yet so you can keep an eye out for it in the film, because it was amazing. As soon as she popped up on the screen, I kind of grabbed my husband's arm and I went, that's Jodie Benson, that's Jodie Benson. She voiced the animated Ariel. So I just love that there was a cameo. Anyway, I say spoilers. It's not really a spoiler because the Little Mermaid film has, as in like the animated one, the story has been out for a while so we kind of know what happens in the end but you know what I mean. And it's beautiful and I think it's kind of taken from the under the sea part of it because she's under the sea. Sorry if you can hear the tag, I'm going to have to... It's just going to keep making noises. So Ariel on the front, this flower as well and the one at the top, it's got like a pearl that's been stitched into there just to give it extra dimension. We have the spyglass just down there at the very bottom and then loads of under the sea flowers they're so pretty also I don't know if this part will be a spoiler I don't think it would be but if you've not seen it yet there's a very nice detail so maybe skip ahead a little bit if you don't want to know this part here is Eric's little figure that he calls his little mermaid and I love that and that's on the top of the backpack so I'm actually glad that I got this bag after seeing the film because I wouldn't have known what that was had I not seen it yet so right on top of the badge where it says Disney Lounge Fly just there that's his little mermaid I love it the zip pullers as well normally the zip pullers will just be this standard sort that say lounge fly however we have a dingle hopper can you have a little mermaid backpack without having a dingle hopper as the zip puller. No, you can't. No, you can't. On this pocket, we have Scuttle. Now, I found I did a little bit of research as well because I figured, hold on, that's not a seagull. They changed Scuttle to a gannet so that Scuttle would have more underwater scenes with Ariel because obviously gannets go underwater. Seagulls don't really, so they wanted more underwater scenes. That's why Scuttle is a gannet in the live action film. I love all of it. Little Mermaid is one of my favourites. As you could probably tell by the Little Mermaid collection, I'm doing that and you can't see all of it, but I love it. This pocket is Sebastian, uh, the crab, again with lots of flowers. Well, like under the sea flowers. The back of oh, the straps on this as well, which is the same as kind of this detail, so I'll show that in a moment. The back has wonders and curiosities and it's got Eric's castle up the top. And Ariel's tail fin, of course, but wonders and curiosities up the top there. What's the bottom? The bottom is nice and plain. What I will say though, this kind of blue colour, it's not glittery, but it has like an ever so slight shimmer to it. I don't know if that's going to come up, but there is an ever so slight shimmer to it, which is just beautiful. Right, the straps and then the parts around the zip and just here 
are all like a turquoise blue and they shimmer oh do they shimmer now mine did come with the straps down i use oh i'm another bag reach these are just like material cable ties that are velcro you can just strap them around i use those on the backpacks that i've used i'll link them down below because it just keeps the straps nice and together then if you don't want them flailing down that's personal preference but yeah all these details so the straps the bit around the zip and then this part here is like a beautiful blue shimmer so i'm just going to hold it up like this and shimmer 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 just look at that sparkle it's so beautiful and then on the side and all the way around the zip as well i'm going to do a 360 start with there and then we'll have a look at the inner lining i've not looked at the inner lining i don't know what it is because if i'm undecided on a backpack i don't look just because if i want to get the backpack i want to see for myself in person Ooh. you know what i'm gonna say she has an inner pocket I love it when they have an inner pocket. Oh, she's jam packed. Oh, oh my goodness me. Oh, goodness. I do put the packaging back inside them just so it helps to keep the shape. What is the inner lining? I think it's just flounder. Is it just flounder and Sebastian? Do we have anybody else in there? No, I think it's just flounder and Sebastian. It's a similar colour to this lighter blue with like a lot of the dark blue do you say like seaweed or kelp seaweed kelp sort of colors excuse you a bit of hair and then flounder and sebastian some shells some other little tiny fishies there we go hopefully that's gonna come up if i show it the other side as well this one doesn't have a front pocket not all loungefly have front pockets um that one's a bit different that one's got a hidden pocket though a lot of them have front pockets this one does not no, she doesn't need a front pocket and the plus side actually when you don't have a front pocket you can have like a full design on the front so it all depends on the design as to whether you have a front pocket or not also excuse me take a breath i've just noticed as well the seashell necklace Ooh, just there which is what Ursula uses to capture Ariel's voice and turn into Vanessa. But I loved the film. Again, oh, I don't want to say no spoilers. I don't feel like it's a spoiler. Maybe skip ahead like 30 seconds just in case. I loved the new songs in there. I'm kind of obsessed. I need to get them on my phone so I can just listen to them as much as I want to. But let me know what you think of that down in the comments because... I already want to go and see the film again but one last 360 and then i'll show you the other bits and bobs that i've got we're having a very mermaid day today so my mum now i know they changed the names of ariel sisters but we're going with the ariel shirt i don't have i ordered the live action denim jacket from shop disney it shipped this morning didn't it i ordered that quite a while ago so i was actually going to chase them up I should have had the denim jacket to wear when I saw the film but anyway better late than never so I'll have to show that when that one turns up so you know something that's coming soon I bought these from Truffle Shuffle the other day because I saw them and I thought they're beautiful absolutely beautiful and mermaid themed so they're from Mad Beauty and it's the little mermaid range and it's three little shell hair clips and they're all kind of like really shimmery colors like a pinky a blue pink a pink a blue and like a green sort of color i just thought they were really nice can i get one off mm. okay i don't know if i can get that without breaking it oh 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 yes lovely so it's one of these sorts looks like a crocodile mouth and you would obviously just clip it onto your hair so i'm gonna have to start wearing these aren't i Clip, clip. I could sit there doing that for hours but that will annoy you and me so I'll stop so I got those from Shuffle Shuffle this cup okay we saw the film 
at the Telford Odeon. Is that one a Lux? I think that one's an Odeon Lux. And they had a display there. And I had seen a picture online, so I was really glad that our closest cinema is an Odeon. I saw a picture online of these Little Mermaid cups. I don't know why I'm doing that. And I had to get one. It was £9.99 as a retail price. And you got to fill it with one kind of drink of choice. They have like the... What do you call them? Like those Coke freestyle machines. And you got to fill it of one drink of choice. They did say it wasn't refillable. But I don't know if there's a chip in the bottom. Anyway. I love it. It's so beautiful. So on this side it says The Little Mermaid and Only in Theatres. It's kind of filled to... You could probably see the fill line there with water. Because I think it's because there are tiny shells and starfish. And like Ursula's shell that she traps Ariel's voice in. I hold that kind of steady. Hopefully that will... Are we gonna play ball? Hopefully it's gonna show up. Are we gonna? Am I too far in? There we go, that's better. So hopefully you can see those kind of shells in there, if that's showing up properly. There's also quite a bit of glitter, because if I just hold the straw and we do that, you see all that glitter beautiful and then on this side we have Ariel and it's just so nice I'm going to take the lid off for this part just to show you that a bit easier the straw it is one of those straws with that lip at the bottom so it will stay in there you can't just pull it out excuse you but look at the top of this lid it's kind of covered in scales to kind of imitate Ariel's fin but it's so beautiful lovely blue colour. So, went to see Little Mermaid in my Little Mermaid outfit. Had a t What did I wear? I had a t-shirt with Ariel and Sisters on. I took this one because Vanessa and Ursula. And then we had to get the cup. So quick 360 of the cup if that's going to focus properly. It might not but if we hold it there then there we go. So that's the cup. Sorry if that straw is annoying. Last thing. I did put this on Instagram and TikTok and I realised I don't think I've ever shown the Little Mermaid Disney keys and it kind of prompted me to get the last one that I was missing. So I'm going to pop that one there for a moment. I do have, did I grab it? Oh no, I do have two the same, so the one is still there. And they're kind of like double sided keys. How am I going to do that? I'm going to pop this behind me for a second. So this one, this first one is Ariel. So we have that side where it's obviously like her mermaid form. And then we have this side where it kind of, it's like her pink dress when she first meets Eric when she's a human. So we have Ariel, it's like a lucky dip as to what I'm going to grab. This is the one I've got double of. So on this side we have Flounder with these beautiful little yellow details. And then if we flip him over, he becomes Sebastian. Sebastian. Then we have, who do we have? Oh, this one's Scuttle. So Scuttle on that side, obviously Seagull for that one, and he has a little dingle hopper on that side just there. Then we have, we have two left, so this one is Triton on this side, I love this one, this one is Triton on that side of the key, and this side we have all of Ariel's sisters. Now if you've seen my videos before, you know all of Ariel's sisters. However, I do this, I display this one triton side up because it's next to the triton backpack maybe i need to get another one of these and display the daughters you can get so many of these keys i don't tend to collect the disney store keys but some of them like that i just love them and i have enough lounge fly to display them so this one's ursula and vanessa so this side is ursula when she's in her sea witch for well she's always a sea witch but in the octopus squid form and this side is Vanessa when she's in a human form. So the only one I had left was Prince Eric. The mystery one in this, I believe, was... Yeah, the mystery one was Scuttle. And I bought six of them. And I was very lucky to only get the one duplicate, actually. But by the time I'd got them and opened them, Disney Store was sold out of them. So I did have to get this one online, so I know it's Eric. I love it. Let me put this back in here. I don't think I have any of these boxes left either. I think I chucked them all. So they just came in a box like this that says kind of what keys are on the front. Standard. 
Oh, I really like this one. It's pre okay. So this side we have Prince Eric, like his outfit. And then this side we have Max, Prince Eric's dog. I love that one. Actually, hasn't there been a Prince Eric lounge fly come out quite recently? So I might have to go and have a look at that one. So if you've seen the new live action Little Mermaid film, let me know down below what your favourite part was. And if you haven't seen it yet, go and see it. It was amazing. I can't wait to go and see it again. And let me know what you think of this lounge fly as well. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.